Hey folks, Bo the Vulture here again, with a little bit more Aerobiz Supersonic. Time to enter the wacky world of 1974. Let's do it! January 1974. Aussie's got a little money in their pockets too. Not as much as we do though. We're doing alright, folks. We're doing okay. We got some slots in Rome. We got some slots in Athens. We got those 727s that I was looking for. And I realize it doesn't look like I'm doing a lot of development in uh, South America. It's because I'm not. Um. <laughs> uh, yes. Let's start up a new route. One that won't make me sick. Let's start off with five flights. And we'll just go with that as the average fare. See if that works. <laughs> that works. Okay. If we need to uh, put more uh, planes on that route, that's good too. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's examine. Let's, let's review our routes. London to LA. I mean, you can see it's not all the way full, but we're still getting a decent chunk of change out of it. Um, LA to Tokyo, now all of a sudden full. Go figure. And uh, Mexico City to LA, as always, all the way full. Our flights to Washington, not completely full, but look at that. We're getting good money out of these flights. That's what's really important. Well, it's one of the many things that's really important. Um... Hopefully our uh, our route to Hawaii will do the same thing for us. You know, North America needs to be your cash cow anytime you're playing this game. It's pretty much what it boils down to. Alright, we're filling all the seats in Athens, and now we have some more seats that we can throw in there. What are they doing now? Yeah, okay, so... Our prices are higher, but you get uh, more attention. Because uh, it's a smaller plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if adding these more flights is going to help me or hurt me. But we'll see. <laughs> we can always change it next, you know, period. Um, actually, with all that work that we've done now, we're actually kind of low on slots in London. We need to get some more. We need to see if we can get some more. Will you give us some more slots, London? Yeah, give us some more. Yo, yo, give me some. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty good. Let's see here. Don't have a whole lot of money. Don't think we can get another 747 with this amount of money. Maybe, though, if I hang on, keep a little bit of change in my pocket, we'll get a half price sale going on sometime soon. That'd be nice. Um... Yeah, though, it's a uh, pretty fun, interesting times going on right here. Okay, I admit it. There's not a whole lot going on. I'm not even spreading out into... Actually, wait a minute. If I have the money to do it, why don't I just set up... Well, let's see if I do have the money to do it. Can I set up a hub in Southeast Asia yet? Do I have the cash? Do I have the reserves necessary? I do. This is good. Let's set up a regional hub in Tokyo. Get on it, Missy. And then after that, <clears throat> we can try and start making some flights out of here, because there are good flights to be made out of uh, Tokyo. How long is that one? 2,000? How long is that? 30? Oh, okay. Those are maybe a little bit too long for my 727s. But, uh, good flight to Hong Kong. Can't beat that. Maybe the Philippines. Anybody want to go to the Philippines? Here it's nice. And of course there's Guam and Saipan. Uh, yeah. So, we get started on that a little later on. But, uh, yes. Dragon opening some new routes. Let's see what's, uh, UK Air ordering some DC-8s. That's probably not a bad idea. Flashy! Oh boy, Middle East War 4 has just broken out. War is wrecking havoc on Egypt. I bet that's going to uh, cause uh, some trouble for oil prices. You know what it is, folks. 
Hong Kong, there's more slots there. And that's good, because I'm probably going to ask for some soon. But yeah, um, actually this is right around the time in the 1973-1974 uh, time period that uh, OPEC, the uh, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, uh, starts to flex its muscle. And um, <clears throat> actually just puts up an embargo um, against uh, the United States and uh, several other, uh, I believe the UK as well, uh, several of the um, NATO countries. Um, so yeah, there you go. So, yeah, not bad there. Um, mainly because, uh, yeah, they were not, uh, some of the, at least some of the NATO countries were not, uh, pleased with, uh, pleased with the United States, um, and, uh, I guess their policies towards Israel at the time, which were to help Israel out. Um, anyhow, yeah. So, got some more money, and we got a hub. Got a hub in Tokyo. I like it. Let's use it. And we acquired the rights to one slot in Tokyo. I wonder if uh, we can get any more. I kind of doubt it, but uh, it'll be fun to try. I imagine we're going to have to wait for, what is it, like a year from now? Oh no. He's just a much better negotiator. Begin negotiations. Oh, you know what? It's probably because now we have a hub there. They're like, oh, okay. We can see you actually plan on doing business in Tokyo. I guess we'll go ahead and let you have. Alright. And then we can, uh, yeah. <coughs> Start getting some air transit in uh, in Southeast Asia. I hope that uh, Dragon doesn't take this as a direct assault on them and then try and invade the North American and South American markets, which is uh, where I like to play. Well, not where I like to play, it's where I like to make money. Oh wow, look at that. That is really good. I need to put another 727 on that route. Well, what I need is more slots in uh, more slots in Los Angeles so that I can put more more people on there but uh, I don't believe the airport work in Los Angeles is done yet is it? They're in the middle of some I think but uh, yeah next month, next month we'll be able to do it I suppose though between now and then oh, no 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 I can't send anybody else to negotiate they're all out negotiating already um, but I suppose between now and then I can go ahead and put another plane on this uh, route. I have one left. He can do that many more. If we can get like a full bunch of planes heading out to Honolulu, that's a long route. If we can fill up those planes, that's a lot of money. I don't think we'll be able to because tourism can only get you so far. Um, and nothing against Honolulu. I'm sure it's a wonderful place, but uh, its uh, its primary draw is tourism. Um, let's see here, though. So, do I need any airplanes next month? Because these negotiations are going to take how long? I suppose I can just go here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but yeah. Um, go ahead and conduct the meeting. We like having meetings, right? Tokyo and Osaka? No. London and Paris? No. London and Tokyo? Yes. See, those first two suggestions, nothing wrong with them, outside of the fact that they're just too short. Um, planes barely have time to be in the air. Um, yeah, probably should eventually expand to the Middle East, but uh, I'd like to be filthy rich before I start expanding into regions where I'm never going to get that many flights. Let's not adjust any existing routes. Let's talk about the planes we have. We should buy more 747s and 727s. You guys are correct. You are correct, sir. ho -yo! I'm not going to buy the City Hotel in Lima, no matter how many times you ask me to. It's just not going to happen. Um, let's uh, take a look at our European concerns. Okay, so we got all the flights into Athens, and... Uh, 
let's look at the competition. Ah, see? They're trying to outdo us. Wait, what are their, what was their price down to? 45? Oh, 40. I'll tell you what. Let's cut our price down to 50, see what happens. See if we're making any more or less profits, if we have any more or fewer people. 73. Ah. That route to Rome is not very profitable, even with our uh, efficient 727s running it. Although, hey. Um, 73%, that's not bad, like, filling. Uh, yeah, London to LA. I need some, I definitely need some more 747s. I give in, actually. I'm gonna buy a seven, another 747 to put on one of these routes. It's gonna take most of my money, but it's just... They make, they make money. They cost money, but if you have a route that you can fill those planes on, the cash just rolls in. And now I'm back to being poor, but that's alright. I'm not gonna start too many new routes in the near future. I'm going to start a route to Hong Kong, that's about it. So let's go ahead and skip on and see what happens next in the world. Dragon orders some 747C. I should do what Dragon does, they're clearly the business leaders. But yeah, you know, like it was an oil embargo, it's uh, basically just like, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Um, if you haven't, why not? I'm chiding you right now. Um, Although, clearly, go watch Mad Max first, and then, its sequel, The Road Warrior. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, wow, nobody's traveling. Nobody was traveling in the Mideast. That's uh, what the war in uh, Egypt is uh, doing. Because flights in and out of there are not really flying in and out of there very well. So, okay. <coughs> Regional rankings, 1974. July 1974. The Airbus A300 has had a successful maiden flight. Airbus as a company, pretty, pretty interesting. I mean, their whole philosophy. They, they helped, uh, they helped really revolutionize uh, air flight to a certain extent. I mean, for a long time, now, pretty much. Um, if you want to buy a big airliner anymore, spoiler alert, but, um, okay, we acquired three slots in Washington, that's good. We acquired 11 slots in London. And we got a 747. Yay. But, uh, spoiler alert, but, uh, in our present day, pretty much if you want to buy a big airline, like a jumbo airliner, um, you're going to need to go to either Boeing or Airbus. They're the two companies left making big aircraft. Um, yeah, give us some more slots, dude. I will send you to bid for slots somewhere. I don't know where yet. Um, let's examine how the route to Honolulu is doing. Okay, so it's not all the way full anymore. But still, almost getting 10... Well, yeah, almost getting 10 million dollars a year, or a quarter, just out of that route. Here we're making 100, or 13 million out of the uh, New York routes. Um, the routes to Washington. Uh, making 10 million out of those. Roots to LA. Roots to Tokyo. 15, 2, and 10. See? Doing good there. We have more slots in LA. So I'm going to go ahead and put this um, 747 on that route. Oh, I can't! Darn it! Because I don't have the, the, the slots in LA yet. Ugh! Alright, never mind. Cancel cancel. Don't make any of those changes. Well, I mean, because we can't. Um, nuts. My uh, razor-sharp reflexes failed me there. 
We almost have enough money to buy another 747, though. Just from the profits from the last quarter. Um, actually, I wish I could see the specs of the Airbus A300. Because I'm pretty sure the Airbus A300 is going to be just the kind of plane that I'm looking for. Something that has a good number of seats, is really economical for its size, and has a moderate to long travel range. Um, so, you know, not quite as big as a 747. Um, maybe about the size of a DC-8, but more economical than one. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, time will tell about the surface of the wishing well. Um, okay then. Knowing all that though, how about Beijing? Beijing's not a bad one. Uh, Bangkok's not a bad one either, though. One night in Bangkok makes a hard man humble. I know. I pretty much say that every time I talk about making flights in and out of Bangkok, don't I? But, hey. That's what, uh, a working knowledge of musical theater will do for you. <laughs> Aren't you glad? Um, so what else happened in 1974 that I should make sure to mention in this, uh, Let's Play video? Um... One big thing, actually, that uh, I would be remiss um, to leave out is pretty important. But uh, 1974 is the year that the Kung Fu Black Exploitation classic, Black Belt Jones, came out in theaters. And if you've not seen Black Belt Jones, stop this Let's Play. Go to your Netflix queue, because I'm presuming you probably don't have a Blockbuster membership anymore. Um, if you do, though, go to the Blockbuster, see if they have it. Or call them, see if they've got Black Belt Jones. They might in their old movie section. See if you can get it on Instant Play on Netflix. Just watch the movie. It is a trip. It is amazing. Okay, more airport expansion in Tun Tunis and Sydney. good. Uh, we don't lead in passenger totals in Europe. We, we're never going to. Yep, again, nobody traveling in the Middle East. In and in or out of the Middle... or not the Middle East, Africa. Out of Cairo. Because basically everybody uses Cairo as their hub. In Africa, you'd be crazy not to. I mean, it's possible to use Tunis, but it's uh, not advisable. Man. Dragon is just making money hand over fist. But yeah, Airbus. Airbus emerges as a company, and it's uh, sort of a... I guess nowadays, it wasn't always, but uh, sort of a um, civilian branch of a company known as EADS, which is the European Aviation and Defense Systems. Um, which, again, is... On the other side of the spectrum, you got the civilian spectrum and the military spectrum. Uh, if you want a big military aircraft, you're pretty much going to go to Boeing, or you're going to go to Eads. Um, there just there was a whole bunch of you know um, merges and divergences and all sorts of. Did I get? Oh man, you know what I did. You know what I did that was silly? I completely forgot about the fact that I was going to have that route ready. And I didn't get planes for it. <clears throat> stupid, stupid Bobo. You are losing efficiency, sir. I'm calling myself, sir. I uh, deserve that level of respect. Problem is, you can see here in Southeast Asia, these, these routes are expensive to open. Expensive routes. Offensive thrust. For the love of a mercenary girl. Let's go ahead and get some 727s, though, to uh, put on this route. Um, I'll go ahead and pick up two. I know I can order more than that, but uh, I don't want to uh, be out of money. You know, I don't want to be caught holding the bag, so to speak. Which manufacturer would I like to speak to? No, that's all the ones I want to speak to right now. Illusion, what are you up to? Nice to meet you, darling. See? I mean... 35 million for a, uh... 
a plane that's capable of doing the route back and forth from uh, LA to London or LA to Tokyo or Tokyo to London. That's basically, I don't know if you've noticed, it's a theme I have going. That's the sort of like intro, the, the, the way I like to circumnavigate the globe with my roots. Um, it could do that. You could do that with a fleet of uh, Ilyushin IL-62s, but it uh, wouldn't be a very good way to do it. Um, other than the fact that the initial investment would be low. Um, I wonder if I can negotiate for any more slots in Tokyo now. Let me do it, please! Tokyo? Negotiations will take six months. It was probably a mistake to do that, because now someone else is going to go after the slots uh, as soon as they become available next quarter. But, uh, what the hell. I'm living on the edge. You can't keep yourself from falling. You can't help yourself at all. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's go back down to South America here. How long is, uh, the route between, uh, Mexico City and Santiago? It's kind of long. And so is Buenos Aires and Rio. These routes will all be pretty good to open up once I have a plane that's capable of, uh, traveling that distance that isn't <coughs> huge. Um, I kind of wish we still had Lockheed Super Constellations. They would be perfect for those routes. But, uh, no. Don't have them. Can't use them. But, we're gonna get to see, because I forgot, this is the last quarter. Um, next, next year, we're gonna get to see what the uh, fuss is all about with this uh, Airbus. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> I don't know that you guys are. I hope you are. Um, but, when we come back, we will get to see that. But, of course, uh, first we need to end the quarter. We need to place three cards face down and end my turn. I use the Red Eyes Middle East War card. Okay. Okay. Those are two of my hubs. I should immediately go out and try and get slots for both of them next quarter. Of course, I'm already in the process of trying to get some in Tokyo. But you guys knew that. Did I not actually check on how any of my uh, European routes were doing? I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Yay, North America. Still not doing too bad. Although Dragon is still making almost twice as much as we are in their profits. And these are the regional rankings for the uh, year 1974. Uh, again, ruling in North America and South America, um, competing in Europe, but uh, not really so much a contest. And uh, the rest of the world, Oceania and uh, Dragon are sort of uh, chewing over, although pretty much other than in Oceania itself, Aussie is getting chewed up. Um, haha, see what I did there? Little wordplay. Very little wordplay. But no, seriously, Black Belt Jones, uh, starring Jim Kelly. Uh, not the uh, longtime well known uh, quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. Um, better known as the black dude with the crazy afro from Enter the Dragon. Um, that guy. If you've not seen Enter the Dragon, again, go to your. Uh, means of obtaining videos and go get it um but yeah black belt jones the soundtrack alone it is a masterpiece of funk music um but yeah check it all out check all of it out um and uh once you get back uh maybe there'll be another episode up of let's play Arabiz supersonic scenario 2 this is boba the vulture and i thank you very much for watching bye now